Hello and welcome to GeoProducts' technical video series. Today we're going to be talking about the history of GeoCells, the history of GeoProducts, and get into some details about EnviroGrid. I'm Mike Jotsky. I'm the technical director here at GeoProducts, a civil engineer by trade. been in the industry for 13 years. Information is provided there for you to reach out to us at any time for any help with any of your design needs. We are located in Houston, Texas, and everything's manufactured there made here in the US. So the history of GeoCell. You know, Army Corps of Engineers were the one who started to develop the product back in the 70s. They were looking for a way to build access roads or tactical roads um, to deploy troops and uh, vehicles. So they started with the pipe system, um, which worked well, because once they filled those materials with sand or other drain materials, it would hold the uh, the vehicle loading, but it was not very deployable. So then they came up with the honeycomb system, which is used today, um, but then they started to decide what uh, material was uh, needed to, to make that. They used, uh, they started with fabric and moved all the way up to steel, figured, found out that HDPE plastic strips were the best um, product to use for uh, geo cells. So after they figured out what they needed uh, in the 90s, they needed a lot of it for Desert Storm. Uh, geo Products was started then to create um, the geo cells, the manufacturer for them, um, as they needed a lot of it for the war effort. After that, we started selling it into the local United States market, started selling it for uh, roadway projects, for parking lot projects, um, and started moving there um, into other parts of the world. Um, we expanded in 2014, and then since then we've uh, sold in all seven continents. Um, and in 2020, we did a big, uh, and we still currently are doing a big push to doing more testing to find out um, good design methods that engineers can use to be able to utilize GeoCell in the industry. So that's a little bit of history about GeoCells and GeoProducts itself. Um, specifically the geocell that we manufacture is in biogrid so this is what it looks like you have your uh, HTPE panels that expand out to honeycomb system um, here's a video of them pulling out one of those panels so the panel on the bottom uh, you can see that's folded up so they'll be connecting that panel to the panels that they're pulling out now and they just simply drag it, it can be done by even one person on a site um, but very easily to maneuver. Um, then you simply fill it with a drained material. So anywhere from sand, stone, uh, topsoil, just nothing with the clay content in it will work in a geocell. Um, one of the nice things about geocell is soon as that uh, infill material is placed inside of it, it can be utilized to hold loads. Um, so as soon as they blade that off, the dump truck will be able to back up right on top of it um, and uh, place more material and they just simply blade it off some more. So this is a typical install uh, for an access road. Um, super easy, just dump it, blade it off. Uh, we'll come back with a roller compactor and compact it in just so that there's no settlement and you're ready to go. So that's kind of what uh, EnviroGrid looks like. Uh, the specific details. So there's four different, or I'm sorry, three different uh, cell sizes. You have the EGA20, EGA30, and the EGA40. So that's the aperture of the cell. So when you're looking down from the top, how big those cells are. Um, and different applications, of course, are going to require different cell sizes. For base loading application, that depends on what uh, the wheel or what um, material is going to be putting weight on that cell. So, so, so for like a trail with foot traffic or smaller ATVs or a golf cart, you're going to need to be using a EGA 20. For roadways, you're going to be easy, using the EGA 30. Uh, EGA 40 is really more for sub base or maybe a slope with really no um, loading applications on it. Um, we do also offer them all in four different heights, uh, three, four, six, and eight. And we can do custom heights as well for specific projects if needed. Um, and then uh, just to show you again the dimensions of the panels folded up 
Uh, so they start 12 foot long. And then as you pull that out, that width is going to shrink to about 8 feet, uh, 8.4 feet. When you do that, if you have the EJ20, it's going to expand to 21 feet. The EJ30 is going to expand to 23 feet, or I'm sorry, 27 feet. And the EJ40 is going to expand to 45 feet. And you can simply attach them uh, and make as big a, or small as a panel as you need for your application. And then quickly, uh, the different applications that they can be used on. So you can use them for base stabilization. They can be put on slopes, build retaining walls, and they can also be used in channels. We'll cover the, all of those applications in more detail on all of the other technical video series. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to talking to you.